All right, look, take a look at the tail. Let's say pretty much even with the height, only one advance for Atia. Weight. 35 pounds for Atia. Record undefeated Adam Atia against two and one by Jose Rodriguez. Let's go up into the cage. Here's Clarence TNT Crawford. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're set to go with our next bout of the evening. It will feature three rounds of mixed martial arts for the PA Cage Combat Middleweight Championship. And in the cage at this time, the man in charge of the action after the bell rings, your referee, Kevin Mulhall. All right, fight fans, for this, our second championship bout of the evening, introducing the Warriors. First, fighting out of the red corner. This young man is wearing the white trunks trimmed in black. He weighed in at 182 pounds. He brings an undefeated record of two victories against zero defeats from Team Hammer of Allentown, Pennsylvania. Please welcome Jose Rodriguez. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, introducing to you his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. This young man is wearing the leopard print trunks. He weighed in at a fit and ready, rock hard, 185 pounds. He brings an undefeated record of three victories against zero defeats from American top team in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Please welcome Adam Archangel Atia. Three rounds of middleweight championship. All right, this is the middleweight championship on the line. On the left of the cage is Jose Rodriguez in the white, in the leopard trunks, Adam Atia. And you know a little bit about um, Rodriguez fighting out of the Hammer Fitness and Training Center. I do, but I got to comment on this first, Mike. Both of these gentlemen look really intense. They have undefeated record online. Not to mention, we're fighting for a title belt. This is going to be electric. As they say, somebody's all has got to go. And Atia really taking things uh, in charge here in hand bullying uh, Rodriguez against the uh, the cage. Atia is really trying to use his power and size to really muscle Jose around, but let me tell you, Jose is definitely deceptively strong. He's a little gorilla. All right, at this point, um, Rodriguez needs to create some room in there. He's got to get out of there. Not get, he's got to get back into the center of the cage, do a little movement. He's got to get away from the power of Adam Atia. Atia is looking for that guillotine, but he's a wrestler by... Uh, by trade, he's really looking for that takedown is really what's going on. I think he's trying to set Jose up and put his back on the mat as we speak. As we Jose speak, drops he to takes him down around. Going for a ride is Adam Atia looking to hook uh, those shoulders. Jose's got to defend those hands. Atia's really trying to sink those hooks in and grab control of Jose's hips. Jose's trying to get out that back door, which means slide through Adam Atia's back legs. Wiggle himself out, Adam sees it, pulls himself over on a Jose side, got himself pinned up against the cage. Not exactly where Adam wants to be, but it's working for him right now. And the strength, the sheer physical power of Adam Matia is certainly taking into play right now. Jose looks like he's trying to get a little hip action to get chest to chest with Adam, and Adam's really controlling Jose's right leg. Really prevents Jose from using any kind of hips and get himself over. And a very good first round for Adam Atia, but a right by Rodriguez on the cage. And there's the bell, the end of round number one. Adam Atia is doing a real great job smothering Jose, not really allowing him to get any kind of space, any kind of chest to chest, so Jose can work his magic as well. You've seen um, Rodriguez in action before, and he's a very quick, a quick fighter, but he needs to use that footwork, he needs to use the speed, and Adam Atia doing a good job at nullifying that speed right now. Absolutely, Jose really likes to be in close and likes to bang, and Adam's really neutralizing that with his size and strength. 
It's an interesting matchup. Round two should definitely be a doozy. You can see the wear on round one of both fighters' faces. They were using a ton of strength on each other. And there's the redness along the left eye of Rodriguez. As we take a look at Jose Rodriguez, there's Adam Matia right now in the uh, leopard trunks. We are set for round number two. Pennsylvania Cage Combat Lehigh Valley Fight Series. I'm Mike Mittman along with MMA wow. analyst Mike Patron. What a right hand by Adam Matia. It didn't land, but. That's more Jose style. Nice staying close. Likes to bang, throw a couple uppercuts. And Looks like we got hit in the cup. Yes, we did, and you can see pain on the face of Rodriguez, and it is now Adam Matia going for control on, on the ground. That was a decisive cup shot. Ref didn't see it, perhaps. He was out of position. Jose's corner calling for a whizzer. Wants him to stand back up again. He does. Slips out the back. There's that uppercut. Trademark Jose right there. And Adam Smothers. And as you need, as you mentioned, he needs to create some space in there. He, he does not to. stand that close with the, the physically stronger Adam Atia. That's correct. Jose seems like he's really confident. He's got a hold of a guillotine around Adam's neck. He's got to lock up both hands, though. He's not going to get it with one hand. He's trying to get leverage and an uppercut, a left right by Rodriguez, and that stunned Atia. Rodriguez really needs to step out and let those hands fly. He went right back in and played to play to Adam Matias game. Adam pushes up against the cage, has him right where he wants him again. This is going to be a back and forth brawl. And Rodriguez trying to grab that hand. The right uppercut again. This is Jose's fight right here. He likes to be outside. Comes yes, right that, in with those that, right now hands. Now he's doing a little a little boxing. He's got to do that movement. Keep Matias away. Matias' hands are really low. There's that right Look hand for that right. Jose's really got to create some space and push off. And, Atia, and Rodriguez now starting to gain some confidence in this match. Jose's trying to get that leg over. Got to let go of that wizard, but that's the risk you take. Good rights along the cage by Rodriguez. And Mike, what an exciting round number two. That is an exciting round number two. These fighters are definitely going to earn that belt. All right, let's take a look at some of that action as we see that knee by Rodriguez. That looks like the cup shot right there. And Beautiful a right hand. Great right hand by Jose Rodriguez. That's what he needs to do. He needs to stay away, create room. And, and not let Atia get in close to physically overpower him. That's correct. It seems Atia's shots are coming in pretty straight, and Jose's really looping over and weaving those punches to touch Adam Atia's chin. As you look at the wear and tear on the face of Jose Rodriguez, you know he's been hit. Little blemish over that right eye. Adam's looking a little red himself. Both of these guys are taking some shots. As we get set for the third and final round, and at this point, Mike, this fight could go in any direction. You can really tell both of the corners are really active in talking to their fighters. Both corners are very serious, taking a very aggressive approach, really firing up their guys to come out and bring it this third round. I would not go anywhere if I were uh, you at home. Do not go to the refrigerator. Do not move. Stay right there, glued to the set, because Anything could happen in this round. Anything could happen. I certainly would not take a break for the refrigerator right now. They're having a uh, um, a problem with the uh, the pad of Adam Matia there's Excuse me. Um, Jose Rodriguez. Jose Rodriguez. Yeah, there's Commissioner Greg Serb. Seems like we're switching out. For shin pads. Yeah. Couldn't tell if the strap was broken or not, but something was malfunctioning. This is a good thing for, uh, well, not a bad thing for Tia, but a better thing for Rodriguez. A couple extra seconds. The commissioner brought the uh, pad in. 
Jose's fired up. Hopefully he can stay along this round and land some of those more trademark uppercuts. All right, round number three. This is it. The championship on the line. Adam Matia, Jose Rodriguez. Let's get it, boys. And now we're seeing some boxing from Adam Matia. Really sticking that jab out. Tries to shoot. He tried to go for that takedown. Good kick by Atia. Excellent counter right hand for Adam's right leg roundhouse kick. The textbook counter landed at flush. Adam looks a little tentative though in that right leg again. Wild right missing the mark by Adam Matia. Good right by Rodriguez. Another right inside by Rodriguez. And they go to the cage. And down goes Jose Rodriguez using again that cage for leverage. Adam definitely scored some points right there with the takedown. There's no submission or no knockout. Goes to the judge's hands. And that looks very good for Atia right now. Jose is flat on his back. Hips are controlled. He's really trying to get some space, pushing off the cage. Great control at this point by Adam Matia. Jose's really working, really working to try to get out of here. And as you mentioned, this is for the amateur championship, and you mentioned a little bit of the difference uh, from the pros we will see in just a little bit. That's correct. Amateur and pro rules in Pennsylvania differ greatly. You won't see any type of ground and pound. Uh, you also won't see any knees or elbows to the face. The body only with the knees. And Atia trying to take him down again. Good you leverage by it. Adam Atia. Atia is just so strong, really crunching that back of Jose and bending him over. And the power of Adam Atia really evident here in round number three as we come to the end of this championship match. And Mike. When the uh, chips were down, Adam Matia really seemed to come up with uh, the answers. He definitely got the better of Jose in that strength for strength play. Nice job to both fighters.